the journalist knows that a certain group of people are not being honest. But when the story comes out, it's like I have to present both sides. And there's no indication that they know that this side is being dishonest. I will say that in the stories I was talking to you about earlier in the Washington Post, Peter Oriski did not do that. And he was quite willing to call out people that he felt were speaking dishonestly and being fraudulent. I, I had one journalist who, who wrote a story and, and she said, how'd you like it? I said, I hated it. You know, you, you <laughs> presented both sides as if they're even, but you know that they're lying. And she said, well, yeah. I said, the Washington Post doesn't do that. She said, well, I'm not an investigative journalist. They're an investigative journalists. And I don't want to be one. My parents were and they got death threats. And I thought, well, God, I think it's just called journalism. And I've heard Bill McKibben speak about this. I've I read a great book by Eric Pooley on this topic. Uh, they were both speaking specifically about uh, reporting on the climate, reporting on climate change. And they talked about how that both sidesism really set back the conversation about the realities of global warming by 20 to 30 years. That for the longest time, if a journalist was writing about global warming, they always felt they had to find someone who believed in global warming and someone who didn't believe in global warming or had other ways of looking at the problem, like um, you know, what about the economic costs of global warming instead of the the moral responsibility or the the scientific you know um, human existence <laughs> reasons? But there is a second point that I I want to make here, and uh, this is one of the things I think about a lot when I think about public relations, which is that the industry of public relations and the industry of journalism are very tightly intertwined. We tend to forget that, but public relations supports the journalism industry to a large extent, not just in terms of funding for the ads and the, you know, the other kinds of uh, advertising supported dollars that go into um, newsrooms, but also in terms of writing press releases, bringing items to journalists' attention, creating uh, source relations, so offering up, public relations firms will offer up experts on very specialized topics that journalists can then contact when the topic is, is technical or otherwise complex, sort of beyond the the scope of everyday writing.